here I'll open up the material browser for the concrete and search for C25 I'll add this one and check the use render appearance and then the hatching as well after that open it up for metal again and then let me just look through these so I can find a usable material for example this one add it up check the user in the appearance box again and under the appearance tab I'll replace this and then open up the appearance section then under the metal group let's see what we have here open up the steel and I'll add this one and then apply ok then apply and then ok again so here we have the rebar and the concrete as well all right so now let's go back to the family types and then here i'll open up the parameter properties let's see put this under the shared parameter open this up then here click on edit select this one and then I'll create a new one which I'll name total L rebar. This one's under common and OK. Alright, then another one and name this one total S rebar length. And there it is. And then OK. After that, let me just go here and delete this one. And then from the properties type in total l rebar length again okay and there we go and then here i'll select the t beams group select the total one and then here put this under the instance and then okay then i'll open this one and put it under the construction group again a new parameter put this under shared as well and then this time select the total s rebar all right put this under construction as well and okay so let me see what we have for the length here in our plan if we take a look at here this is what it is so back to the family types now and then here let's find the length let's see where it is it's right here if you multiply this by two you'll get the length of all of the piece so then i'll go to the total l rebar length and then put the formula under the formula section here length multiplied by two and then the only one remaining is s so for this one we need the number s rebar plus the s rebar length so i'll copy this one and then go to the total s rebar length and under the formula section paste it and multiply it by number s rebar all right let's see what this says it says some of the parameters are under the instant type and the other ones under the type so if we actually close this one and take a look at the space s rebar here we can select this one and put it under the instance type and do the same for the other ones as well so i'll go here and select this one put it under instance and then open up this one so this formula pops up again and it doesn't allow us to continue let me see where else i have used this so i think i used it here in this one to l rebar so i'll just hit ctrl x here and then i'll select this one and put it on the instance let's see what the problem is this time all right let me just open up a notepad here so i won't have to type these over and over again here there it is and then here ctrl x and then ctrl v here all right so now let's put this on the instance 
then this one as well then here control v and then for this one control c and then control v apply and okay and we can use that one in the weight as well the one that we mentioned the joist part too but now if you actually want to calculate the weight we'll go here and create an r let's see where it should be here under the l rebar diameter i'll copy this one and open up the parameter properties paste it and then replace this part with radius so we have l rebar radius then this one should be the length type again and put it under construction again okay and then in the formula section put this and divide it by two and then after that we also have the s rebar diameter open this up then put this under the construction group and then ok after that create a new parameter again here replace this part with the radius all right let me see what the issue is all right type this again and then put it under the instance type or you know what just keep it under type then here put this under the construction group okay and then here divide this one by two there it is and now we want to calculate the weight of these and in order to do so we'll go here and open up the parameter properties and name this one wl rebar then here put this under structural and then the mass and the other group or let me just change it to constraints then put this under instance and okay all right then open up the properties again and then this time put in ws rebar let me just put this under the shared parameter so here edit this one put this under t beams new paste here and then structural mass and okay okay here again and there it is so put this under constraints and instance as well then ctrl c up here and then delete from down here then a new parameter which we'll put under share this time as well here create a new one wl rebar then structural and mass and okay then select it from here and then constraints and instance here all right so now we want to use the formula here so i'll go here and start from this one the l rebar radius here in the formula section i'll open up the parentheses and then paste the L rebar radius and multiply it by here. This one total L rebar length because we have two of these. There it is. Let me just type it out. And after this, let's see what else we have. What can we do to finish the formula? Here, multiply this by. 3.14 and then after that multiply it again this time by 7850 and then i'll close the parentheses so now we have the value that we wanted let me just divide this by thousands because we're working with millimeters let me just see this doesn't add up so change this to 100 divided by 100 there it is and then for this one the ws rebar ctrl c the formula and then paste it here then i'll copy the name s rebar radius from down here and here put it instead of the l rebar radius that we had and then let's see next 
replace the total L rebar length with total S rebar length and there it is so this is one way of doing it and I'll mention the other technique in the next part